your algorithmic financial advisors that help you select a group of stocks or ETFs. Okay, without human inter uh, intervention, the program must have been written with human code, right? So personally, I would. It's okay to use them. I, I would be okay with it. However, take all of it with a grain of salt. Uh, it's like, it's like some of the things that they introduce in current education system have introduced that a long time ago, right? Where you know kids fill out forms and they tell them what their, what their optimum career might be, right? Uh, so, like in, Index has mentioned this uh, multiple times as well, where. Uh, investing is very personal right so you can fill out these forms right and you do if you ever get uh, if you ever get a financial advisor and stuff like that they'll ask you questions right so you can fill out these forms and stuff like this and get a sort of a plate of a printout of saying what you should invest in and what are some good things right but first thing right first thing regarding those right now we're going through serious changes right and some legacy companies that might have a 50-year track record of having a growth rate of five percent or four percent or three percent or ten percent with a dividend yield of two and a half percent four percent five whatever it might be right they might have a track record of a 50-year period or 30-year period or 20-year period where they're giving great returns right and a lot of these algorithms will base their decisions based on that time frame depending on what you fill out right because what they fill out what you can fill out is one of the main criteria is um, is your investment uh, idea short term medium or long term how old you are what is your income and all this jazz and they put you into a category right so if they say you, you're looking for long-term investment retirement, you want something dependent to rely on, the algorithms will look into companies that have been, been around with a good track record for the last 10, 20, 30 years, right? Now, a lot of those companies right now are under, and in the last 10 years or so, have been under a tremendous amount of pressure because disruptive innovation is coming up. So if you're, you have that idea in mind, and you get a printout telling you to invest in these things and you really haven't done the research to realize hey maybe this is an obsolete company and they're just making the paperwork look nice until they pull the plug right look at Xerox look at Kodak right so it's okay to use as a starting point but it is not okay to rely on automation to save you and invest your money for you everyone must appreciate this automation is not here to save individuals okay to make individuals lives better it's here to uh, allow masses to go in a certain direction right now you have to be careful where you're going with that one of the most horrendous examples you can use are the two plane crashes the Boeing planes that crashed in the last year right in the last year there were two plane crashes that happened with Boeing that killed a lot of people right and it's come out that those plane crashes were because of automation because of a program code that was written for the plane where if certain things happen the planes automation would put the nose down right the plane would be going and all of a sudden plane points down and nose goes down they crash right and there was supposed to be some kind of option where you could turn that off and whatnot either sold independently as an option just imagine as an option for a plane to save lives or the pilots would have to be trained to realize that this is happening and we have to switch out switch it off or something like this right that didn't happen automation is not your savior automation is a tool that you can use really appreciate that okay agreed 100 percent another issue robo advisors add an additional layer of un unnecessary commission for the uh, privilege oh so you they actually charge you for it too hopefully sooner rather than later there'll be programs out there that uh, will be free right and i'm pretty sure they have a percentage so there's the extra fees are huge 
extra fees are huge did you see the new uh, and by the way these regarding uh, robo advisors there might be cheap or uh, not as sophisticated ones that are free to use and if you just need a template to get an idea of where you want to be use the free ones right use the free ones and change a few different parameters on them and get a few different outputs right and see which one you like right you can always work the system a little bit to save money